William Hope, your favorite videographer from Two Hats Publishing. I welcome you to another Two Hats special of community events. Let's look in and see what's really happening. It's never been so important as we turn out our boat today. We have a couple, we have one more state trip with us today. Roberto Alonso. Thank you very much. Thank you all for coming uh, today to this event. <laughs> and let me tell you, as you see the line back in the door, this has historically never happened for this many people are so excited to come out. Woo! And they're excited yeah. because there's a reason for it. There's a difference in the two candidates running for president yeah. uh, yeah. between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. There's a lot of things that happen in this election, and this is how you settle the differences by voting. You don't settle them by war, you don't settle them by fighting, you don't settle them by walking away, you settle them by voting. And today, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna ask everybody, please come and vote, vote. You don't have to wait for two weeks. We vote today, we vote every day because this is how the process works. We wanna thank the county for creating more, uh, opening uh, more places to vote because that's the way it should be, what you have, people vote. So, again, my name is Roberto Alonso, I'm a state representative from Dallas and Grand Ferry, Irving and Capitol Hill, and I go to the vote. Okay, now I'm gonna speak in English, okay? Uh, yo soy Roberto Alonso, yo soy diputado estatal de aquí de Dallas, y uh, qué bueno que hay tanta gente aquí participando. Miramos esto, las urnas, hay una línea mucho muy larga porque la gente está bien interesada. Esta elección ha habido mucho debate, mucha discusión, mucha razón. Hay diferencias en el candidato Jimmy Clinton y Donald Trump. Y claramente esa diferencia ha animado al pueblo a salir a votar y qué bueno que han salido. Quiero me dar las gracias al condado de Dallas por hablar, abrir más uh, espacios para votar. Otra vez más, yo soy Roberto Alonso, diputado estatal de Dallas. Y les animo que salgan a votar. Muchas gracias al, a la, los sindicatos que hicieron este evento para animar al pueblo y que sigan, sigan siendo animando. Muchas gracias. Thank you very much. Thank you, Roberto Alonso. Once again, my name is Mark York. I'm head of the Dallas AFL-CIO Central Labor Council. We represent over 50,000 workers in Dallas County alone. Yeah. This is a union affiliate. And they're here today. Yeah, I see what is. CWA Communication Workers, 6250, yeah. 6150 CWA, uh, the Transport Workers Union are here today, yeah. the United Auto Workers are here today, the Steel Workers are here today, yeah. Clean Elections is here today, is there any other groups I forgot to yeah. say? Yeah. Texas Organizing Projects are here, yeah. and yeah. our clients are retired Americans. It's a collective group of people that are fighting for the right to vote. Please exercise your right and vote. Yay! My name is Gene Lance. I'm the president of the Texas Alliance for Retired Americans. We have never in our lifetime seen an election with the disparity that this one has on retiree issues. Mr. Trump went so far as to say he would not cut Social Security. Mr. Clinton said, she will raise Social Security. She also says that she will lower the requirement for the age limit to get Medicare. She also says that she will cut the price of prescription drugs. Seniors are turning out this year more than ever because this is the year that the senior issues are on the ballot. Now there's a particular senior issue here in Dallas they want to cut the pensions of future city employees. The steelworkers want everybody that's a city employee to join the steelworkers and fight against Proposition 1. You cannot tell from the ballot what Proposition 1 says. It is completely obscure and it's gobbledygook. You cannot read it. It doesn't make any sense. But let me tell you what it does. It cuts pensions. And that's what we have to stand against. We're for the rights of retired America. And that's why we're down here today supporting these other groups that are hoping for a big turnout in 2016. Thank you. I'm Trudy Bryant. I'm the field organizer for the Fiction Alliance for Retired America. And one reason we are after encouraging people to vote early is because there are now 50 early voting sites.
sites in Dallas County, thanks to our commissioner. You can vote at any early voting site. So wherever it's convenient for you to stop by and vote, have your voter registration card and your photo ID, and you can go vote. And our elections administrator, uh, Tony Pippen School in Dallas County, Bruce Sherbet in Collin County, are encouraging people to vote during the first days of early voting, which goes to November 4th, because they expect a real a rush at the end of early voting. This this feature of you voting wherever you want to makes it really, really good. We're glad for all these folks that came out today and we're gonna all go inside and cast our ballots. Texas Organizing Project is in the house. Yeah. Yeah. We're doing down house. Everybody yeah. excited about the day? Yeah. About the vote. Uh, you know, we're here representing the Texas Organizing Project, representing our members, just reminding people, you know, this is a very uh, important presidential election, but we can't forget about the down ballot candidates, you know, our city officials. These are the individuals that live in our communities, you know, drive down our streets. Their uh, kids attend our schools, so it's really important to you know, keep in mind the down ballot uh, positions, our city officials, and we have to come up with numbers and uh, not forget about the May elections either. So we'll be back in May for now. Let's get out there and vote. So thank you very much. Let's have somebody from the CWA come up. How about her back there? Let's go her back there. Come up. Hey, her. There's her who's not only standing out for its communication workers, but also stands up for uh, the Good morning, everybody. Thank y'all for showing up at this rally. You know, it's so very important that we have people know that they have a right to vote. Because in the state of Texas, some of our state representatives, not Mr. Lonzo, because he's always on the right side of voting rights. But so many on that other side of the aisle, they always want to take that right from us. It's another way of disenfranchising people who should be able to vote. So I want to thank everybody that's here, and I want y'all to grab your aunts, your uncles, take that old auntie out to vote. We need to get everybody out there to vote, because as Mr. Land said, some of these issues affect our older citizens especially hard. Thank you. Okay. All right. The Philip Randolph Institute would like to have a few words. Mr. Sherilyn. Good morning, everybody. This is an exciting morning. We're going to make this election be the best election that we have ever seen in our lifetime. What we need to do is just continue to encourage people to come out for the early voting. When you come out for early voting, that give the candidates a better chance of representing in areas that need more help. So as you are out today and every day throughout early voting, make sure that you encourage someone to come and vote. Thank you. Yes. We're going to have great elections, we're going to have clean elections, and our next speaker will, will address that. Hey, I just want to encourage everybody to get out and vote, and vote early, and avoid lines later on. This is the time to do it. Uh, we also want to encourage people, if you are, are, are not sure where you have the right identification, according to state law, go try and vote anyway. If you're registered to vote, you can have many different alternative IDs that you could bring that would allow you to vote uh, uh, in this election. So if you have any concern or any question about that, get out and vote and if you're registered. Thanks. This is William, hopefully your favorite videographer from 2X Publishing. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please leave comments below or like follow or subscribe to us and get notices of all our videos. We love it even when you call.